Let me show you how simple. Watch this. Okay, watch how simple my shapes get. Because I see the picture in its simplicity, I'm just going to draw very simple lines. Watch. I'm going to draw almost a robot picture of him. I'm going to slow the whole process down so you can see what it is I am doing. Watch. I'm not going to put a lot of lines in it. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I, I think like robot shape. See how simple this looks, right? Okay, now watch, watch. Now I'm thinking of his expression. How would I express those eyes real simply? See how simple these shapes is, watch. Okay, look. Watch. Okay, look. Okay, look. I'm going to do as least, as least lines as I possibly can. Look. Now, okay, so I think that's all that I actually need to be able to accomplish this picture, right? Okay. This is something that's very simple. Very simple. I didn't do nothing fancy. I have to know how to draw this kind of a picture first. This picture then translates to smoother lines. Right? You can see I can smooth the lines out. I can do all kinds of stuff. And because I understand what I am doing, right, and I have firm control and command of what I want to draw in my mind, okay? I got to have a picture in my mind. I got to know what I know in order to be able to go slow and be methodical about what it is you're doing. So watch, now we can open up the room for exaggeration. So let's go to exaggeration mode. Let's say we just wanted to do some kind of exaggeration here. Watch this. Let's do to take the same shapes, but I'm going to I'm going to stretch his chin out. Okay? And then I'm gonna draw the same picture, okay? But now I'm gonna make the ears up here and a lot smaller, right? Watch. This is a cartoon. Let me let, let let's do something that's a little bit more exaggerated, okay? Look, okay? Because I know what I want to do. I know the same shapes. I'm just repeating them over and over again. I'm gonna make everything up here smaller because I came down here bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go smaller up here. Okay. All right. See that right there? All right, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do something like this. 
actually my these should be further up here so i'm gonna try to get them up underneath the hat shape okay now watch this i'm gonna keep my nose shape i'm gonna go something like this i'm gonna do something like this and it's still gonna look like him right no matter what because i know what i want to do i could give him some smaller glasses okay i could give some smaller glasses i can stretch this down here like this right i can do something like this all right all right now watch now i could come over here watch and i can do something like this watch i can do like this and I can draw the shape and come all the way down here with it. Okay. Okay. I can make his neck go way over here like this. Okay. Same guy, different approach. Get what I mean? Firm command. We can, but your exaggeration needs to make sense. It has to make sense in order for you to be able to do this. Okay, you can't just do whatever kind of exaggeration. That's sometimes what goes wrong with some caricature artists is they try an exaggeration that doesn't complement the face at all. You know what I mean? So here I could give him some, some little, I could put some shadow in his glasses like this. All right, I'll put some shadow in his glasses over here. This is the only thing kind of is missing. You see what I'm saying? Real easy. Where's the caricature artist? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's kind of funny right there. Okay, do you get what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? We can do all kinds of... Exaggeration. What else? What else could we do? We could take the same guy, right? We could put him over here. Check it out. And now I could do this. Let's see what that was. What else could I do? Watch this. I can shorten his head if I want to. Watch this. I can shorten it and make it wider. Watch this. Let's see if it'll work. Okay. Look. Because you just what. It can, I'm not going to be too far off. I still am going to be able to make it look like him no matter what I do. I'll put the hat up here, right? Look. Okay. I put my glass. I put my. I could widen my nose up some. Watch. I can make his hat be down here. Put his glasses like right here. Right? I could put this shape here. I could do this shape here, make this a little bit smaller. I could come over here and do this. I could still give him a long neck. Okay. I can, I can, uh, so I don't take away from his thing. I could make the ears smaller. Right. I could do it like this. This is another look for him. Right. Look at that. Okay. Now we got another version of the same guy. Okay. So it doesn't matter which way, right? I see this guy. This is where my imagination comes in. That kind of looks funny right there. <laughs> that looks like him too though, don't it? So look, all these pictures look like him. Which one do you which which one do you want to what do you what, where do you want to go with it? Is where what, what the whole thing is, you know what I mean? Do I want to I can start from the inside out if I want to now because I have a confirmed command of what I want to draw, right? Maybe we want to maybe we want to do something like this. Watch. Maybe we want to start maybe we want to start uh uh, uh inside and we want to do something like this, right? And then we want to do something like this. And then we want to we want to make the nose shape really huge. Cuz we want it and we want to downsize the glasses, right? All right, what are we what are we going to do here now? Then what do we want to put this shape here? And we want to do something like this. I don't know. We made it cover up the mouth shape. His mouth is so big. 
his shape is so big that we covered up the mouth shape with the nose shape, right? So this is actually his beard now. You get what I'm saying? And now here, watch this. I'm coming down and I'm gonna go into my face shape. Okay. This is a whole nother way I could do it. Okay. Another guy right here. Okay. So now I went with a huge nose shape. You know, so uh, it's it's all about once again understanding how to manipulate shapes. But start my beginning caricature artist when I first start them, I start them here. Okay, because that's still a cool picture. This stuff comes only as a result of understanding this. All of these are same shapes being recycled or manipulated because I know them in my mind, okay? So I, I hope that, did that, did that explain that question for you? I know you had a, did I, did I answer that? Hello there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, you did? Well then, you see that subscribe button below? Push it. And after, push the bell icon next to it and select the all, all, all option. Then you will get notifications of all new uploaded videos. And when I go live, oh yeah. So thanks for watching and subscribing and check out these other videos for more cool stuff. Have a great day and happy penciling.